Hello and welcome to People in Perspective. My name is Andy Brown and my guest today is Mr. Ryan Evans. Mr. Evans is not only a 7th grade history teacher at S.E. Gross Middle School, but is also a village trustee in Brookfield. Thank you for joining me on the show today, Mr. Evans. Pleasure to be here, Andy. So, to, so you're a teacher. So what, is, what are some of your most memorable moments as a teacher? Oh, most memorable moments? Uh, I think one of them is I was doing a Declaration of Independence unit um, with a student that's a junior here now, and one of the things that they had to do was write their own Declaration of Independence, declaring their independence from someone or something, a parent or the school, and he chose me as his person that he was going to break away from and uh, really blasted me, just everything about me. However, we were able to turn it into a great teaching moment. I was able to use it with all of my classes, um, and at the end of it, we had a really great lesson. And it's using those things in the classroom that you might otherwise think aren't great into uh, some pretty memorable moments like that. That's, that's cool. So um, what inspired you, or who inspired you to become, start becoming a teacher? I, I went to Nazareth Academy uh, for high school, and there was a teacher there named John Michalek. Uh, he was my humanities teacher my junior year. Uh, I had had great history teachers up until that point, uh, but he really turned the tide for me and, and showed me what history was and that you know, this was something that I wanted to make my life's work, and, and I did that. And you wanted to teach it to other people, too. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I think that uh, using history uh, is a great tool for students. Sometimes we focus so much on math and science uh, and we lose out that there's civics there and there's mm -hmm. geography and there's all of those different things that are incorporated into the social studies. Um, not just history, but you can blend all those things to make a great class and then great citizens further on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, where, what is your history with classes or schools or where did you, what did you do to become a history teacher in specific? Sure, I studied uh, I, I received my bachelor's uh, in uh, the liberal arts from a school called Monmouth College, which is about 200 miles west of here. I took a pretty intense course load in history, uh, but then also had education classes that went along with that. Uh, you have to be certified in the state, so they set those classes. Um, but with my history focus, I got to pick a lot of what I wanted. Um, and I did a lot of European studies, uh, which is interesting because I went on to be an American history teacher yeah. where I taught you and mm -hmm. other students uh, here at RB um, when they were at Gross and so my focus was something entirely different so I had to continue on with my education in American history to make sure I could convey that knowledge to everyone else. Mm -hmm. So what does a normal day at school for you include? I get there somewhere around 6.30, um, get my lesson plans together, make sure that everything's ready to go for the day, um, prepare those things. Students come in at about 8 o'clock and I start off right away with an American history class. Um, I have one unique class uh, and that is called the STAR program, Students Taking Academic Responsibility. It's modeled off of something you guys have here at RB called executive functions. Mm -hmm. So I'm helping students uh, get organized and also uh, develop the tools to be great students. And then the rest of my day is focused on history. In your history classes, what, are you, what topics do you like to teach a lot? Uh, I really like the American Revolution, which is what we're doing right now. Uh, I think that a lot of history teachers focus on wars. Um, and I think more important than the wars are the things that build to the war and then the things that are after. Uh, so I try to convey that with my students. It's one of the themes that we use. What are the things that lead us to war, and then how do we end after? If you could pick, if, is that your favorite topic, or would you pick a different favorite topic? Like what uh, is your I'm a big fan of the, the Jackson era, the Jacksonian era, um, because he's got great stories uh, and it's easy to sell that to the kids and, and teach them what a, what a president can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. um, so I enjoy that quite a bit. Okay, so I understand that you are also a village trustee in Brookfield. What are, what are some memorable, deci memorable decisions you've had to make on the board? Well, I, I've only been in office uh, since May uh, is when my decision making um, powers came, um, although I was elected earlier. Um, it's been a lot of learning in this first 
uh, part of the year. Uh, one of the more lively debates we had here in Brookfield was on whether or not we were going to allow chickens uh, to be raised in the community, uh, which passed on a unanimous vote. So uh, we do allow chickens up to three in your backyard. So if you're interested in doing that, Andy, you'd be able to do that now. All right. What got you interested in going from your teaching job? Well, you're still teaching. But what got you interested in going to politics also? Uh, it's something that I've always been interested in. I think it goes along with the social studies. I talked a little bit about civics with you. Uh, and it's being invested in your community, uh, which is something I take very seriously. Uh, I live in the community that I teach in. I want to be a part of the government to help govern it in the right direction, or at least the direction that myself and, and my party thinks that uh, the village should go, so that one day my daughter gets the option uh, to live here in Brookfield and have the same great experience that I have as I was born and raised here, um, just like you. Mm -hmm. So what, does, uh, what do you do on a normal day for a trustee? Uh, on a normal day, it's a lot of, it's a lot of review of records. Um, right now, we're going into our budget process. Um, so this weekend, uh, I probably spent around six hours pouring through that. Uh, we meet twice a month formally for the, the Committee of the Whole meetings mm -hmm. where we discuss our topics, but there's a lot of information that passes across your desk that you have to make sure that you're aware of so that you can make decisions for the village. So in between there, there's a lot of like, like research on, on the topics? And Correct. Okay. Yeah, talking with uh, other elected officials and then also the people that work over at Village Hall because they're very knowledgeable on those things. Okay. And I, I thought I, myself, had a pretty thick course load right now, but you are juggling trustee and teacher. How, how do you manage that? How do you manage that time? M most importantly on that list, though, Andy, is my family. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes that becomes very hard to juggle all three of those things. For example, today I went from a full day of work um, to coming here to interview with mm -hmm. you. I'll go to a village board meeting directly after that, and I'll get home somewhere around 11 o'clock tonight. I won't see my daughter. Um, so some days it's harder, but when I get that time, you know, I take time with my family uh, and then stay up late and get up early to take care of everything else. Yep. Are there any, is there any closing remarks you'd like to say? It, it, it's, been a, it's been an absolute pleasure working in Brookfield. Um, it, it's a place that I love, and it's a place that I love because of things like this, having a student come back to me and tell me, Mr. Evans, I wanted, I wanted to interview you because you were a great teacher, um, and you've got a unique story, and I, I'd like to come back and explore that, and, and that's important to me. Um, I enjoy that quite a bit. Okay, so at this point, I, we would like to thank Mr. Ryan Evans for coming on the show today. This has been a very interesting interview, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you, Andy. Thank you.